hey guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video we will see a topic which is related to power bi service okay so this will be my first video which i am creating on power bi service actually i have taken a new subscription for this so in coming time you will be able to see more and more uh you know videos uh, related to power bi service where there is so much of gap available uh, because there are not much videos available on youtube where you can explore power bi service and uh, you can learn actually power bi service right because it is a paid tool not everyone uses it and uh, you know uh, the power bi desktop is a free tool so everyone will have tutorials on that so this is a new video uh, which i have created on power bi service so uh, many of you might have this subscription or many of you might be using some student accounts and everything and whenever you are publishing any report on this particular server then uh, you will be able to you know uh, uh, i mean if you want to share this particular reports or dashboards to your portfolio or to uh, interviewer or if you want to attach in in your uh, you know resume then how you will be able to do that right so uh, there are different ways to do it so let's say i have published one of the dashboards so this is an ipl dashboard which i have created the entire video is already available on my channel so it is a complete dynamic report so if you see when i change uh, different seasons uh, it will be able to filter out those values now if you want to publish this report uh, let's say on your website or if you want to publish it on your linkedin profile but it should maintain its dynamic capability right so by using this filter you should be able to filter out those values based on that so for that there are different options available and some settings also available which you have to do on your service right so first thing what we have to do is uh, publishing you everybody know how to publish it so once it is published you have to open this particular report in your power bi service and then you will have to go in files okay so here there is an option of files and there is an option called here embed report right so here uh, if you have an option called publish to web then that is fine because that option is needed uh, for publishing this particular report on any third party website right where you will be not requiring any login information over there but here you already have one option called website or portal so let's say when i'm doing this then you have two uh, you know links available over here the first one is uh, you can embed this particular link to any of the websites uh, or we can say any of this uh, or we can say uh, you can use this link uh a, to send to anyone through emails or through um, you know teams messages and this is the e this is the link if you want to embed this to your website right so this is used but if i use this particular link and when i open a incognito window right so where uh, no login information is available and when i see this and if i try to see this you will see that it is asking me to enter the login details right and uh, so every time we cannot uh, you know log in this particular information because if you want to share it publicly uh, the people who are using this link to see your dashboard they will ask uh, they will be asking uh, a login information which they will not have and you don't want to see this or you you don't want to have this particular option right they uh, whenever they click on the link they will be able to see everything at that particular moment so for that what you have to do is at the top you can see there is a settings option over here so you have to just click on the setting option and then at uh, governments and administration there is an option called admin portal so i'll just click on admin portal so once it is opened uh, there are uh, you have to go in tenant settings right so just go in tenant settings and then you will scroll this down uh, entirely just scroll it down and there is an option called export and sharing settings right so in this there are multiple options available and in that one option available is publish to web so i'll just open this option and i will show you so uh what does this say that right now it is disabled for the entire organization that is uh for you right now it is disabled so people in your org can publish reports on web right so when web but it will publicly it will be available right so they don't require any authentication to web them so initial option which i showed you uh publishing and when i uh, uh showed you to that that particular link when i i have added into in the incognito window it asked the authorization right that is you should have those logging details then and then you will be able to see those right and that particular option is mostly used when you are working internally with your team and if you want to share those right so for internal use you can do that but if you want to share this publicly right then you have to enable this option and when you are sharing this particular reports it everybody will be able to see those right 
and um, from here you have to go to embed codes and use that particular link which i will show in uh, a few minutes right so first thing always remember that uh, whenever you will have a setup of any of this particular power bi service uh, settings by default it will be disabled right and uh, whenever you are working in an organization it is recommended that it should be disabled because if you are sharing this link and sensitive information of any of the client and uh, those particular information will be visible to public to anyone who are seeing through that particular link so it is recommended to keep it disabled but if you want to enable it if you want to showcase it in your resume or in uh, you want to showcase your um, dashboards which you are creating publicly to uh, different portfolio websites or um, you know uh, to your interviewer or to linkedin profiles or nokri profiles then you have to enable this so i will just click on enable and i will also allow users to create new ports right so what does this mean that from your dashboard they can create different ports so it's up to you if you want to close this or not so if you want to enable you can enable it right and this i will have to apply for uh, any entire organization right so if you are creating this for your personal use then just keep this particular option enabled and i will just click on apply as soon as you do the, you can see the settings are been applied but it will take 15 minutes to apply this particular settings so you have to wait for 15 minutes in some cases it will be immediately applied also so let's wait for 15 minutes and i will uh, see you again all right guys so now i'm back after 15 minutes so now what i will do i will just go in this particular dashboard which i initially opened so this is the dashboard now and when i click on file and when i click on embed report so first i will refresh this page so right now i'm not seeing that option right so now I will just go in file and I will go in embed report and now you can see a new particular uh, option is available that is published to web and public right so it means that this links whichever you will be using it will be available to publish on web right so when I click over here right and it will be visible publicly and this is it's uh, you know just an uh, preview like how it will be seen when you are sharing it right you can change the adjust the size also over here but i recommend not to use this right because uh, whatever size it is uh, visible over here it is automatically taking this so there are two links available so first link is uh, this link if you copy this okay and when i open the incognito window where no information is available and when i just paste it over here you can see the dashboard is published over here right so now it is available publicly so anybody can see through this particular link and whenever i'm changing these filters you can see it is dynamically changing that means that it have maintained it its dynamic capability so you will be able to see everything in this particular uh, dashboard through this public link right but if you want to see this on website right so you have a website and if you want to embed this particular visual over there then you can just use this particular iframe uh, link and you can paste it over there but if you want to share on linkedin profiles and anything this is the first link you have to use in portfolio websites and all or in your resume just paste this link and whenever anybody clicks on that particular link they will be able to see in this particular way right that is a complete dynamic dashboard so you have to do this for each and every dashboard whichever you are having you are publishing it and you will be able to share publicly but as i told you it is not recommended when you are working in real-time organization just keep this disabled and website or portal whatever you see this it can be used for your internal organization where you can apply some uh you know uh security um, uh to those row level security and all those information here you can apply but if you want publicly then this should be enabled through settings all right so this was all for this particular video for more tips and tricks just keep subscribing the channel like this particular video and i will see you in the next one guys bye bye